everyone. Welcome to my Friday Weekly Melt, and I just have three candles in front. I'm trying to work on the candles that I already have around my home, out and lit. In the background, back there, I still have pink lemonade going, and I'm getting down. So I'm pretty proud of myself on that. It smells amazing. I finished one candle this week, Brazilian Passion Fruit, and I was sad to see this one go because I was savoring this one, to be honest. It um, is really a nice scent. It's strong. It's bright, it's juicy, it's sweet. It's just a really nice, sweet fruit scent. You know, not too sweet, not sugar sweet, just a nice, pure fruit sweetness. And it had a really great throw. I enjoyed this so much, and it's all gone. I'm so sad. If I find another one, I may pick it up, but then I don't know because I want to wait and try. See, I keep thinking to go out and purchase more candles and put them in my stock. But then I'm thinking new candles are going to be coming around. I want to try those new scents more than the old scents. So I don't think I will pick it up if I see it again. If it's around next summer, then I might pick it up if, if something didn't come out that's better. But I really enjoyed this and I savored it because it took me a while to burn this because I took my time burning this candle. And I'm doing that as well. I'm not trying to rush through my candles just to get through them. I'm just burning them and enjoying them. And if I don't want to enjoy that scent during the day, like say today I'm not in the mood for pink lemonade like yesterday I wasn't. I don't light the candle. I just put a tart in. Because like I said, I am trying to go through my candles and burn down through the candles before I pick out another candle out of my cabinet. So I hope that makes sense. I have not had coffee, so <clears throat> bear with me on this one. <laughs> Right now, I just started yesterday and I just lit it a few minutes ago. It's Bahama Breeze. I Well, I just lit it this morning. I had this going yesterday in my sunroom, and it had a uh, light scent throw, but I'm going to wait and see what happens as I melt it down further. I had a tart going with it as well, and I'll pull that tart out when I get to it. The tart that... Sorry about that. The tart that I had going with this was very soft, so I wanted to bring out some more fruity scents, and that's why I grabbed this candle. It was Bahama Breeze. I really can't tell you right now. The tart is amazing. It smells awesome. You just smell that nice fruit. I, there's like a mandarin, I believe, in there. Orangey mandarin kind of scent. It's got some kind of berry kind of scent, and it's just such an awesome scent, but right now, to be honest, I cannot smell it. Um, it's a very light scent throw. So I'm hoping that this is like my other candles. I burn it a couple of times, get it down a little bit, and then the scent just comes out. Yesterday it did smell. I did get a light scent throw. And with it right here, I can smell a little bit, but it doesn't smell like the tart at all. The tart was amazing. This candle does not smell like the tart. I smell a little bit of that nice, fruity, drink scent. Like I said, I believe it's got mandarins or orange or something like that with a berry. And I just get a little bit of sweet fruit right now. Not strong. So I'll keep you posted on that. This is the candle that I'm so disappointed in. Coconut Lime Verbena. It was doing good. I showed you in my other videos. It was doing great. The wicks were doing, you know, all right, considering the fact they're all going sideways. And then this is what's been happening. And I have been trimming the wicks. Look at the wicks. They're all sideways, and I think that's what's causing a lot of this soot. The, the wicks are not in there good at all. They're, they're bad wicks, even though they're melting evenly, the wax. And I've been trimming them and everything, and I just don't even want to light this. This is so bad. It, you get that sooty smell, and that's a sad part. Now that I've got all that black soot on top, when I go to melt it, that's all I'm going to smell. And I don't want this going in my house. This looks really dirty. I would rather have the soot going up the candles where I can clean it, obviously, than in my candle. This, I swear, Slackens is the only candle that gets filthy like this inside. I haven't had this problem with other candles. It's just this one that, get, that turns any white or creamy wax into a sooty mess. So I'm very disappointed in this candle in Coconut Lime Verbena. I'm... Not sure what I'm going to do. I'll probably put it on my warmer downstairs, my tap warmer downstairs for the cat boxes and finish off the scent. Because I did melt a lot. I'm not going to 
exchange this or anything like that. That's crazy. If it was the first burn and it was acting up, yes, but I've already melted that pretty far down to do an exchange. So, unfortunately, this is what happened to my candle, and I love. I was enjoying this scent. I've mentioned it before. It's just an awesome, meaty coconut. It's that meat coconut with the nice, bright lime and the watery verbena, and now it's a mess. Horrible. So I don't think I'm going to go with any more of the what. And it's, well, I can't say that. I love marshmallow fire side. I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't thought about it yet on what I'm going to do. I do want to get some of the false scents, but I'm really nervous because my wax is, you know, looking really dirty and grimy, and that's just, you know, it's sad because the candles smell great, and this is what's happening to the wax. You know, it had an awesome scent throw. All right, I'm going to tell you what tart I had going with Bahama Breeze. Sweet Fixations Cherry Lemonade. It's a light scent. It smells good, but it's light. You get that cherry and you get the lemonade. It's no, the cherry is not overpowering the lemonade at all. You know, you get that lemonade scent. You get that me It's a very mellow cherry. It's not very strong. So what I did is that's when I grabbed my Bahama Fizz thinking it would work really good together. And it actually did. It was, like I said, the candle wasn't strong, but between the two of them, between the tart and the candle yesterday, that's why I can't tell you exactly what the candle smells like because I had it going with this tart. I just get a nice fruit, nice fruity drink scent because I had the cherry lemonade and the Bahama Fizz, and that's what both of them are is a drink, is a fruity drink. So it smelled really good in my sunroom yesterday. It smelled really good. Now I'm going to see with the candle on its own how it acts today and what the, what scent comes out of it. Because, like I've said, sometimes you get a totally different scent out of the candle as you do with a tot and vice versa. So I really can't tell you right now what this candle smells like. But mixed with cherry lemonade, it smells really good. It helps my tart out, I can say that. Granny's Country Candles, I was doing Jingle Bells. And I melted this downstairs because it's very, very sweet. It's a very sweet candy scent. That's what it is. If you love candy scents and sweetness of the sugar, then you'd like Jingle Bells. Because that's what I get. I don't know the notes in it, and I really can't pick anything up. It just, that's what it smells like, sweet candy. And it's strong. It lasted, I think, two days in my warmer downstairs. I have a different warmer than the ones upstairs, but it lasted two days. Downstairs in my cat box. I call it my cat box room, but it is. It's a room. It's my kids. Uh, one of my sons has uh, one of his games down there so he can play, and I have the cat box in that room, so I just call it the cat box room. But it's, it was a nice scent. It's just not for me. I liked it downstairs. Because whenever I walked by to go into my laundry room, I smelled sweet candy. But I don't think I could tolerate this in the main part of my living, you know, my my home because of the fact that it's just too sweet for me. But they don't have this anymore. Anyway, so I really shouldn't say to go and purchase it. Cause unless she brings it back with um, the winter scents. I've been melting mandarin orange zest. And this is super strong. Wow. I had this going the other day in my kitchen while I was working. The kids were home, and I wanted the house to smell good when I came home. I put it in at probably 7 o'clock in the morning, and I came home about 2, and it was strong, and it lasted all morning, all day. It was amazing. You smell the mandarin, definitely, and you have that orange. It's a very zesty orange. This is really a great scent, and it's super strong. One tart sent it up almost my whole upstairs. It was awesome. So I really am enjoying this scent. I've got just two more to go. So I think I'm going to save these for the end of the summer because I do like them, and I'm not going to pick up any more summer scents. I also tried from Ashland, I got this in the Ron Robin box, same with the Mandarin Orange Zest, is Mango Cilantro. And I wasn't sure because a lot of people, this is hit or miss with Ashland, but this is really nice. It doesn't smell so, you don't get a strong scent throw by cold snip at all. But when I was melting this, I smelled a nice mango. And the cilantro kind of cuts the mango a little bit so it's not right in your face. 
But I really enjoyed it. It was a nice scent. It's not super strong. It's a medium scent throw, but it was just a nice mango with a little bit of that cilantro to cut down the mango scent, you know, just give it a little more different note. It was really pleasant. I enjoyed this a lot. I don't know if I would purchase this again only because I know these are hit or miss with Ashlyn. That's what I've heard on YouTube. I don't know for sh personally. But I really do enjoy the scent, and I've got three to enjoy. So I think what I'm going to do is melt this in, like, my office while I'm melting mandarin orange zest in the main part of my home so I get that nice mangoes and oranges and all that going at the same time. I was pleasantly surprised. I was melting orange dreamsicle in my son's bedroom. And this is perfect for a bedroom. I love their orange dreamsicle. I love Yankee's orange dreamsicle, but it's very, very soft. You cannot put this in a large room. The candle, I didn't get much sense throw out of. But in a smaller bedroom, sit per se, you don't get a strong scent though. It's light, okay? But it's really a good scent. It's such a shame because it smells exactly like an orange dream school. So there's no fakeness in there or anything. It just smells nice and orange and creamy. So it was perfect for a day where I didn't want him to get hit in the face with the scent. It was a subtle, soft scent. But it's such a shame because it's such an amazing scent. It really is. Tiffany Candles, Bury Me Alive, and this is really strong. I had this going in my main room. Main room. I had this going in my kitchen, which scents up like three or four rooms. It's just a nice berry scent. I mean, this has got everything you want in it for berries. It is super strong, really nice. It's just got an array of berries just flowing through the air. It's amazing. And it lasts it lasted a long time and it scented up my whole upstairs, my kitchen, my living room, my dining room, my hallway. It went into some of the bedrooms. It's just a really strong scent. And also it could be you know when I say it scents up my whole house, you gotta remember also you have to play around with your warmers. You have to find that spot in your home where your warmer is going to give off the best performance. Because I have had to move my warm more <laughs> I've had to move my warmers around so many times to find that perfect spot where I'm going to get the great scent throw. And I did find a great spot in my kitchen that kind of is in the doorway into my living room. So that way it's going into my kitchen, my living room, my dining room, and my hallway because that's where I have it centered. But if I have it all the way in my kitchen on the countertop, way in my kitchen, it might not do as good. So if you're not getting a really strong scent throw out of out of certain texts that people on YouTube are saying are really strong, you might have to just change where your warm is positioned and just find the best spot that's going to have the great throw for you. And it will probably make a world of difference with a lot of texts that you're melting. I'm sure you probably already know that, but I just wanted to let you know, it took me a while in each room to find out where I should place my warmer and if I should change it to you know, if I should change one of my Scentsy warmers to a hot plate warmer in that room, because you don't know. If some warmers don't give off a strong, a strong scent, but others do. So different rooms depends on the windows, if there's some air flowing through your windows, if there's a lot of traffic going by that's going to affect as well. It's just a lot of things can affect it. If you've got it in a corner, it might just stay in that corner instead of going throughout your whole room. Like I know my son room. I have a beautiful lighthouse scentsy warmer. It is gorgeous, and I want to see it all the time. So it's right on my TV console. But the problem is when I put tarts in there, I can't really smell that. No matter what tart I put in there, no matter how strong it is, I can't smell the tart that good because it is way over in the corner of my sunroom, and my, my couch is on the other side. And it's just where it's positioned in that corner does not give us good scent throw. And I have another warmer on the other side of my sunroom where it's near, it's behind my sectional, and it's a hot plate, and I can put a tart in there and it will scent up my whole room. So it just depends on where you center your warmers as well. I don't want to move my lighthouse warmer because it's beautifully, I like it as an ambiance, a little bit of light, and if it doesn't give off much of a scent, so I stick another tart in my other warmer. So that way I get the beautiful, you know, ambiance of the light bulb inside this gorgeous warmer. Sorry, she is going nuts today. You know, I, 
I like to just look at it because it's so pretty. But it, right now it's not in a functional spot, but I'm fine with that. So just kind of play around with your warmers, you know. It doesn't matter what warmer you have. You just sometimes have to play around and find that right position in your room for it. But Bury Me Alive is an amazing scent. Big disappointment of the week was Tempting Treats Lemon Drops. It smells like cleaner, but I'm like, you know, you never can go by that all the time. Sometimes it changes when you put it in the warmer. Nope, straight up lemon cleaner. I couldn't tolerate it. I put this in before work, and when I came home a few hours later, it smelled so bad of lemon cleaner, I had to dump it. It was so bad. I do not recommend this scent. Unless you love lemon cleaner scents, this is not the one. Oh, my, it was really, really strong, too. I had to really pop in a strong tart. I had to clean that warmer out, pop in a really strong tart to get that lemon cleaner scent out of my home. It just did not work at all for me. I finished up AV, Avers Country Cupboard Lemon Poppy Seed, and this was the bar. And if you've watched my top five vendors, you'll see what her bars look like. They look like a candy bar. This is really strong. Like, I only needed three of those little cubes, and they're little. They're thin. If you watch that video, you'll see what I mean. I only had to use three in my kitchen, and wow, was it super strong. I used this in my kitchen, my office, one cube definitely, and you need the door open, and in the cat box room. Love this scent. It's really strong. It's amazing. You get the nice lemon, and you get a little bit of that poppy seed. It's kind of a bakery, but the lemon is really strong. I love it. And I have to order from Ava as I need some fall scents from her because she is up there in my top favorites, for sure. Candles by Victoria. I did apple raspberry crumble. This is a nice scent. But it has a funny note to it. I I couldn't take it. I smell apple right away. And I think the raspberry has a funny scent to it. I get a, definitely a bakery scent. And when I first smelted this, I loved it. Now, it could be that I've had these tarts for a long time. I've had this tart for two years. So when I first started melting it, I absolutely loved apple raspberry crumble. Loved it. But when I, go, when I went to go melt it the other day, I... Loved it for maybe the first hour, and then there was something funny in the scent. And I believe it's the raspberry. It's a shame because at first I really loved it. You definitely, like I said, get that apple. You get the raspberry, and you definitely get that crumble. But then as it's melting, the raspberry turns to a different scent. It's almost like a burnt scent to me. And it's a shame because it smells awesome. So some these candles, I, these candles that I'm burning from Candles by Victoria, they're very old. They're two years old. And by having tarts sit around for that long, it can start to smell funny or lose its scent. She, hers does not lose their scent at all. doesn't matter how long you have them. But definitely I think it's affecting the scent of the tarts or the scent shots. So I will have to purchase a few more during one of our sales and see what happens and not leave them all cut up and all over the place in my uh, tart collection because I don't think I can, you know, I forget about them. So I need to cut half and put them in my kitchen and then use the other half within the month. So I might give that one more try with Candles by Victoria. Tara's Candle Cottage. This is sweet orange and chili pepper. And this is nice. Um, I had this going to my sunroom for something different. I have a bin full of tarts that, I've had for a while that I want to use up. And this is one of them. I wouldn't repurchase this. You get definitely sweet orange, but you get that chili pepper scent, and I'm not into that at all. It was nice at first, but then I think the chili pepper was coming out a little bit too much than I wanted it to. And Tara's um, tarts are very strong. So for me, this was really not a great scent because I don't like the chili pepper mixed in with the sweet orange. If it was just sweet orange, I would love it. But that chili pepper gave it a little bit of that bitter, I don't know, bitter kick that I didn't really appreciate. But I melted her mango papaya. And this was good. You definitely got hit with the mango and the papaya. They were both melted, or they both mixed beautifully together. One really didn't overpower the other. It was a nice, pleasing scent. It was medium to high scent for my sunroom, and I really did enjoy it. It's just a nice mango papaya scent. 
I finished off my little mini market peach. And as you can see, I cut around. I was cutting them up and using them in my center because this is a strong scent. Market peach is really strong in this in a tart form, like if I put it in my tart warmer. So I've been putting this like in my office and in my sunroom and in my um in my son's bedroom and I love it. Oh I love it. It's just a nice, sweet, ripe peach. And it smelled so good. Unfortunately my candle was a big dud. But I got to enjoy it in my warmer by this mini candle. So I don't mind these little candles. I'm a little shocked at the fact that they raised the price. I don't think they're worth three dollars and fifty cents and three for ten is still a lot of money. But if there's a scent that I love and the candle form is a dud, I will pick up the little mini candles and use them as tarts because depending on the scent, some like this scent was really strong, so I was able to cut it up and put it in smaller rooms to use and enjoy. So this was awesome. I finished a sample of Gracie Joe's Blue Hawaiian and there was absolutely no scent. None at all. Nothing. Not even when I opened it up, I couldn't tell you what it smells like. There was no scent. So I can't give a description. I had it going in my bedroom. So I had it going in a low watt warmer right next to my bed. My warmer is right next to my bed on my nightstand, and I couldn't smell anything. So I had to pour it out and put a new scent in. So this was a dud for me. And last is vanilla bean. And this I am finishing up in my bedroom now. This has been going for probably three days, and it's very relaxing scent. And I believe this is from Everyone Tarts. And I explained this. No, I did not. I still have not put that video up. In one of my weekly melts, I do have one of her tarts in there. I bought a, a tea light warmer, and I need to put up. I'll put up this weekend, I promise. And she put in some free tarts. And her tarts are really strong. I do enjoy them. This is just a really nice vanilla bean Noel scent. It was. I love to melt this in my bedroom at night. It's very relaxing. It is a strong tart. They're, her tarts are scallop tarts. Oh, my gosh. It just smells so good. I got three nights out of this. It was amazing. So I might check her tarts. I never checked. I didn't even know she sold tarts, to be honest. I just went in to look for my tea light warmer, and she threw in some tarts. And so far, I've melted two, and they're really good. They're good tarts. So I'm going to have to check and see what she's got and what the prices are. But really pleasant, nice. This is one of my all-time favorites for bed. It's just such a – you can't go wrong with vanilla bean oil. You just can't. If you're a vanilla lover, everybody loves vanilla, vanilla bean oil if you love vanilla scents. So that was everything that I melted this week. It wasn't really a lot because I worked a lot this week. But I got some tarts out of the way that have been sitting in my bin that I've had for so long. And a lot of my candles by Victoria are in there because I've had them for two years or a year and a half, two years. So I'm trying to get through the ones that I've had for a while because I don't want my old tarts sitting in there anymore. I need to get rid of them so they don't go bad on me. So anyways, I'm going to stop this video now because I need my coffee and I'm rambling. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.